Hello, everyone. I want to ask today, have you heard of MUST system? MUST, M-U-S-T, MUST system. <laughs> maybe yes, maybe not. But just to clarify, just to clarify, if you think of like we have should versus must. So many times what happens, like maybe uh, we say that I should exercise. I should meditate. I should go to gym. So what is the meaning of I should do something? The meaning is it is not compulsory. It is not really like you can do it or maybe you can, may not do it. So it is really not must. It is okay to do it or it is okay not to do it. So same way like uh, maybe... Uh, you should go to party. You should drink alcohol in the party. No, not necessary. If you, it's not necessary that you should go to, you, you may go or you may not go. You may drink, you may not drink. So versus if you think of must, must, the meaning is when you say must means it has to be done. Like 100% it has to be done. So just let me give maybe some example, Okay. So if I say that if you, you guys invest like uh, whatever the amount and whatever you're investing by tomorrow morning will be doubled in next 90 days, okay? So whatever your investment, whatever money you're going to put, it's going to be doubled in next 90 days, 100% raise, okay? 100% double. And uh, the president is giving in writing, yes, your money will be doubled in next 90 days, okay? So, but only the condition is you need to invest tomorrow morning. And then how much money you need to invest? So you, it means if somebody gives this offer, will you say yes or no? Okay, so maybe yes, like, you know, because president is giving the guarantee. And in 90 days, if my money is going to be doubled, why not? Okay, but the condition, we did not finish it. The condition is tomorrow morning by nine o'clock, you should invest. And how much you need to invest is, you need to invest minimum $100,000. Minimum $100,000, almost like a, more than like a 50 lakh or something. So now just think of it. Now it becomes the capacity. So now if you think, if you think of it, you would say that, okay, if it was like uh, something else, like I can decide the amount which I'm going to invest, then was okay. But now if it is compulsory to invest minimum $100,000, then what you would say, would, how many of you, like if you can comment in the chat box, if somebody is giving you this guarantee and just to know like what you would have done it. Like, would you go ahead and invest 100,000 in this particular scheme that, okay, your money is getting doubled? I would say that if I'm in the place, like I would not do it because if it was some other amount was okay, but then 100,000, like something on this, maybe not, okay? Maybe there are some people who might do it also, okay? But just in the same situation, means I'll just give a like a negative example okay so bad example so just like it's just the hypothetical example so but just for some uh, critical situation I'm just giving the example so but now if your child is not well and your child needs a surgery and you need to arrange hundred thousand dollars from somewhere for that you need to deposit hundred thousand dollars tomorrow morning otherwise your child's life is in danger, what you would do. Any parent, any parent, they will do their best. They will do everything to get that money arranged by next day morning, nine o'clock. Just think of it. Would you do it? Yes. So what happens here? So it became must. So when it became must, then how did not matter? How that money was arranged? What was the capacity? Nothing nothing mattered okay so this is the biggest difference this is the biggest difference between should and must so what happens right now like a lot of things in our life we take decisions but most of the time if you see your own verbiage and if you monitor it, it it's many times goes as should 
I should do this. I should do that. I should, I should be eating less. I should be drinking water. Everything mostly is should. Just observe. Like maybe tomorrow you observe. And if you think you're observing, you can comment for comment below uh, in the, uh, give me your feedback. Like, okay, do you do more should or like it is must? Okay. So uh, another example to give. So if we think of the Domino's, like Domino's had this uh, delivery uh, kind of uh, offer. If they don't deliver in 15 minutes or like whatever, 15 minutes or 30 minutes, just let's just take 30 minutes, then that pizza will be free. So why Domino did this kind of a process? Because what happened now, it became must for Domino's to make the pizza and deliver it in 30 minutes. So in this whole process, what happened? They adapted the must system. The meaning is for must system, there are three pointers. What are those three pointers? Any guesses? You can comment, okay? But if not, I just uh, brief. Like the three pointers as one is like a non-negotiable. So anything which you want to do, if you really want to do it, if you really want to complete it, it has to be a non-negotiable, okay? So I'm giving just this example with dominoes, but just think of any area of your life. You can apply it right now. It could be your health. It could be your finances. It could be your job. It could be your business. Or it could be your relationships. You just need to think that, do I want to apply the must system? And to apply the must system, like what is there? What you need to do is the first is the non-negotiable. Is it non-negotiable? Okay, so for Domino's, like they announced, so now it is non-negotiable to deliver the pizza in suppose 30 minutes. So the second is it's unaffordable, expensive. The second point is it should be expensive to pay. So the meaning is, suppose Domino is late, they are going to give you free pizza. If it's more than 30 minutes, they are going to give you free pizza. So if they start giving free pizza all over their branches, like if you just calculate, even like one pizza in a day would be like almost a million dollar kind of a loss for them. So can they afford to take that loss? No, it is very expensive to fail. It's not like one or two dominoes here. We have a franchisee chain all over America, in India also. Can they do it? Can they afford to do it? It's very expensive. So something which you are doing it, it is it expensive? So like if you are going to fail to do it, then is it going to hurt you some way? Some way. It has to be so expensive that you should not afford to fail. You should put your skin in. Maybe if you're learning something, so maybe you're investing in your learning. So now you invested so much, there is no other way than like completing it. If you don't complete it, it's your loss. Like you lost all the money. If it's health, okay, you bought like a $2,000 uh, equipment. And now if you don't use it, that equipment is going to go waste. Like we have like a $4,000 equipment also, $5,000 equipment also. So you put that money and if you decide not to use it, it's very expensive. They could be more expensive, but it has to be attached with something where that cost should little bit pinch you. And if it's not pinching you, it may not be that necessary for you. And then the third point is, it's almost like a force, like a agreeable, like agreement. It has to be like an uh, like agreement. The meaning is like, it's almost forced on you. The meaning is like for Domino's now, they cannot tell the employees, okay, we have to do this making and delivering. Everything has to happen in 30 minutes. But you cannot just, like, instead of forcing people, they announced as, okay, this is our policy. So if you're working with us, uh, we have this system, we have a must system, or we have this delivery system, and everybody need to comply, it. everybody need to follow it. So it's the same way, like, there has to be, like, some kind of force, some kind of agreement, whatever you're deciding to do to make it must. 
there should not be like a back door. There should not be, okay, if this, no, not this option, some other option, not this option, some other option. So then it is like not going to be must. It will be always should only. Okay. So that way it becomes in uh, agreement and that way it becomes like, okay, you don't have any other way to look at it. That's the only way. We do this way. So everybody follow the same way. So why this topic, uh, just to relate, like it came to my mind, like it's a must system and the should system, something I'm learning, like whatever I'm learning, just sharing with you. So I was relating it to the uh, Women's Day Challenge, like the mega star champion. We have a women's um, VIP accountability hub and we are starting like a challenge, which is just kicking off like as uh, tomorrow will be uh, like mostly reaching out all the people who registered on the Facebook group will have a kickoff session on Thursday. We will have the challenge first week starting on uh, Monday and then it will go for the four weeks. And is it really like if somebody is like, it's going to be a very flexible uh, kind of environment. Like the only thing you need to do is like there are small practices we are following a strategic approach to build the habits just better for be better lifestyle for better wellness simple thing the only thing needed is what like if you're following the challenge again the uh, there will be live session i'll be doing a live session and if anybody's attending live they get to ask the questions if not the recording will be anyway provided to everybody who is the member and then the accountability part is on the Facebook. So I'm going to try to reach everybody who is interested, like giving the instructions in like email or WhatsApp or Telegram or everywhere. But the actual accountability will be in the Facebook. So you just need to add a message in the Facebook group. That's it. Just for next, like uh, for those 21 days, like the main is the 21 days. So you become a part of the community. Then we try to understand first how this challenge is going to work. But it is not complex. It's very simple because what is the expectation is just for 21 days out of these four weeks, you will be just adding the accountability message. So that's what you will be doing it. So uh, nothing else much is expected, but everything will be explained. As I said, on the live call questions, all the questions will be answered on the live call uh, or if they are posted on the private Facebook group, I'll be uh, answering it. I'll be myself participating it and also posting the message on those 21 days. And uh, let's just, I just wanted to see that if whosoever is going to participate in this challenge, can we follow the must system? Like, you know, like this is something really, can we do it? Like, can we just do it for 21 days? Can we just follow, make it must for us then making should for us? So that was the thought which was coming behind. And uh, I hope like uh, it's going to be interesting. And as I said, like one person or five people or like more than uh, whosoever wants to uh, join this beautiful community of women who wants to change the lifestyle, change something in the life which can, uh, which maybe you have thought before, you're already a disciplined person, but because of you, maybe you motivate other women, okay? So that way uh, it can help, uh, just helping each other. And to uh, like already it's a Women's Day in India. So happy Women's Day to all of you. And I really welcome all of you to the mega uh, star challenge. And please, please, please join the private Facebook group, uh, Women's VIP um, Accountability Hub. I have the link, which I'll post it here also. And tomorrow in US, like we will be having a Women's Day, like a lot of activities going on everywhere. Please enjoy the day and please enjoy all the events which are happening in your offices or outside in communities, in clubs and everything. So it's it just have fun, like, you know, like uh, participate and have fun. Okay. And so with that, uh, I'm signing off. Uh, have a good day in India. Have a good night here. Like have a peaceful night, I would say. And uh, again, thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody, for giving the encouragement to meet, for talking every day, watching my videos, and also subscribing my Coach Gita 360 YouTube channel. I hope I'm adding little value. 
and I hope to see you in the Women's VIP Accountability Hub. With that, signing off. Bye-bye.